One of the top highlights from Kingdom Hearts 3 was that we finally got to see our favorite characters not only happy, but reunited with all their friends once again. The scenes in the Keyblade Graveyard featuring Roxas and Shion and Terra Aqua and Ben were extremely emotional, for lack of a better word. Both were very heartwarming moments that resonated with us the player, because it had been so many years since we've seen some of those characters on our screens, and the last time we saw them, they didn't have very happy endings. But all that's in the past now, as we look towards a new saga in the Kingdom Hearts series, the Lost Masters arc. The KH4 trailer showed us a tiny glimpse of what is to come, featuring characters like Sora, Streletzia, and even Donald and Goofy at the end of it. But what about those whom they didn't show? It might be a safe bet to assume that Riku makes a small appearance, due to his recent arrival in Quadratum, but almost everyone else is a huge question mark as to whether or not they will even appear in Kingdom Hearts 4. Take Naane, for example. She also received a happy ending by becoming her own person at the end of the game. Now that that's wrapped up though, it's difficult to say where her arc will go from this point forwards. If the next game is mostly focused on the world of Quadratum and on Sora, then I feel like Naane's role could be limited, or she just may not make an appearance at all, which is pretty unfortunate. But that would also give her time to go out and live her new life to the fullest, exploring all the new potential possibilities that are out there. And frankly, she deserves some time off after all she's been through. The same can be said for Roxas, Axel, Shion, and I guess now we can add Saix to this group. Or Isa. As much as I would love the return of all these characters immediately in the next game, I would also understand if they gave them some time to breathe, hang out, and just be themselves in Twilight Town for a while. Because like Naminé, Roxas and Shion never really had much of a chance to exist outside the clutches of the organization. When it comes to this group of characters, there's really only one avenue in which I see them being directly involved with Kingdom Hearts 4, and that is if they decide to focus on a side story of finding out the whereabouts and identity of Subject X. In this case, then Axel and Saix would be necessary to help carry that plotline forward. After all, they did use to sneak into the castle in order to see her. However, I still feel like a lot of the focus will be on Sora during Kingdom Hearts 4. And when it comes to the trio of Terra, Aqua, and Ven, they also deserve some time to themselves, but that's not where their story takes them. Instead, back into the world of darkness for Aqua, although this time at least she has her two friends to accompany her. Now, I feel very strongly that this is a story worth devoting some major screen time to, like a large playable segment, or perhaps even a whole entire game. Which is why, I'm not sure if there's room for them in Kingdom Hearts 4's story. I feel they need some more screen time than what that game would give them. And Kyrie? Well, that's a bit of a tough one. I've gone on record before saying we will get to experience her training ourselves as a playable character, and I still believe this to be the case. But I'm starting to wonder just how much of the Realm of Light we will even see in the next entry. And in this case, will they save her training for another game? After all, Kingdom Hearts 4 is only the first in what is certain to be a lengthy saga. There will be plenty of time to get to play as Kairi and all these other characters as the years go on. We may not get these games as quick as we want, actually we definitely won't, but they are coming. In the meantime, I want to know which characters in particular you think won't make an appearance in KH4, and what is the reason you feel that way? Just leave a comment down below, and feel free to hit like or subscribe if you want to help out and support the channel. Otherwise, have yourself a great day. May your heart be your guiding key, my friends. And remember, happy gaming.